Frame Rising family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make sea moss. Well, this is my my way of how I make sea moss. Um, I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and did some research and um, I just like picked that I felt like was the best and I just kind of, you know, did my own thing with it. So this is the sea moss. Um, the sea moss comes from a company called Vital Vegan. Um, if you would like to purchase some sea moss, I will put the link to it in the description box. As well as you can use my code HEALTHYASH at checkout to receive a small discount, but you'll also be supporting me. Um, so let's get right into the video. So usually when I make my sea moss gel, um, I will take about an ounce of the dried sea moss and weigh it out on the scale and that will it will fill up two 16 ounce jar mason jars let me let me grab them it will fill up almost two of these and that will last me a long time um even with uh some of my family using some of it i will say i, I haven't been 100 percent consistent with like having the sea moss gel in some uh shape or form every single day but I'm going to really try and be better about that. I'm going to take it every day and I'm going to see how much um, this this amount will last me. Because then that will give you guys an idea of how much a whole pack will last you. I can definitely say it will last you more than a month. Um, but so I'm going to weigh out an ounce. I'm going to take some from here. It's already at zero. Okay, I might just wind up using whatever uh, in this jar, even if it's a little bit more than an ounce. I just don't like to make too much of it at one time because um, when you store it, you store it in the, your um, refrigerator and it's supposed to last um, two to three weeks and I just, I never want to waste it. Oh, that turned out to be exactly an uh, ounce. So I'm just going to rinse this off a few times to get any excess dirt that could be on there. There might not be any, but I just always rinse just to make sure. And usually what I do, I will just obviously put in a bowl, put some water in there, and rinse it really good throughout the water. And I will do this twice. It's just my own personal preference. Okay, so now I have rinsed it twice. So now I'm just going to allow my sea moss to soak. So I'm just going to add in some more water, um, just enough to cover it. I usually let mine soak overnight, but um, that's not necessarily 100% um, required. I have seen some people who only let those soak for like 30 minutes or an hour, and it still blends up perfectly fine in the blender. I believe it just depends on what, what kind of blender you have. Um, I think that's just enough to cover it, and I'm also going to add in some key lime juice. Um, when I was doing my research, I, it was just found that the key lime juice helps to reduce the fishy or ocean-like uh, smell and taste of the sea moss. I personally um, don't taste that when I use it, but um, I guess some people have stronger sense of taste. I'm going to add in um, the juice of two key limes. Okay, so I have my key lime here. I'm just going to put it in this little citrus squeezer and squeeze my key lime juice in there. Okay, so I just added the juice of one key lime just because these key limes are a little bigger um, than the ones I normally get. And I feel like it was a lot of juice. So I just added the juice of one key lime. If you have a small key limes, then you can use two. But I'm just going to let this sit for 30 minutes. Um, I have a really good blender and I feel like it will still blend it up very well. And also, I don't want to have to take a whole 20 or 8 hours so I can finish the video. So I'm just going to do for 30, uh, 30 minutes. Okay, so I wind up letting my soak for 30 minutes just because I just wanted to be I just wanted to be like extra 
extra careful and made sure it really was um, long enough for it to blend really well. But because um, the sea moss gel comes already dry and very clean, like there was no salt on it or anything, um, it's just it's really able to absorb water really fast and really efficiently. So I feel like after this hour, I feel like that's enough and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. Another thing I'm going to mention is usually when I let it soak overnight, um, oh, I'm out of breath. usually when I let it soak overnight, I will strain the sea moss from this water and I will save this water and I will use it, um, uh, on face masks and clay masks and my deep conditioner that I make, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it this time just because like the sea moss didn't soak very long, so I feel like I don't know. Usually it's kind of the water becomes kind of a little gelatinous in the sense because when you blend up sea moss, it, it creates a gel very easily. All you gotta do is obviously put mix it with water. The water takes on a little bit of a gelatinous form and I'm just not sure it has a uh, long enough time to do it. So I'm just going to blend all of this water up together instead of straining it. But if I were to the next time um, soak it overnight, I would save that water and I would use that water like on my skincare or you can even drink that water too. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to blend it all up together. Okay, so I always blend um, my sea moss for 90 seconds, which is a minute and 30 seconds. And I also usually fill up enough water. I know you can see that. See the water? I always fill up enough water to almost cover the sea moss because obviously if you add too much water, then it won't be thick like a gel. So um, I think this is going to be enough water. I didn't add any more water. This is just the water that it was soaking in. So I'm going to start blending it and I'm going to let it blend for 90 seconds. Okay, so 90 seconds it's up and I'm looking at it and it's like shorty like extra thick. I don't whenever I make it, I don't think it's ever this thick. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit more water. You probably could leave it like this, you know, if you wanted it that thick, but I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Not a lot, because I don't want it to be liquidy, but just a little. I'm just gonna blend it just a little bit to mix in that water. Okay, so this is more of what it looks like when I blend mine. It's a looser before it was like extra thick. Um, so I'm just gonna put these in my mason jars. Okay, so actually, um, I wound up making a little bit more. I usually only have these two jars, but I got a little bit in this jar too. Um, yeah, maybe I made it a little bit thicker than I normally do. No, that, that wouldn't be right because then it would be less. I'm not sure what happened. You know, it's cool though. I'm going to make sure I use it all. Um, I store mine in these glass jars. Obviously, I put tops on them and I put them in the fridge. Um, it is said that they last um, between two to three weeks in the fridge. Um, I haven't 
had a batch go bad, but I mean, I haven't probably kept it past three weeks. I always make sure I use it up. Um, so I hope this tutorial was helpful, though. Um, it, I understand if the method isn't perfect, this is just my method. If you have another method that works for you, that's cool, too. You know, just do what works best for you. I heard it. I don't know. They're trying not to make sure I cover the mic because there's a few times I've been had my finger over the mic. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, like I said, you don't have to do it that way if that's what you do. I seen you could boil it, but I feel like that's... I feel like that defeats the purpose of it being such a mineral rich herb if you boil it like I don't anyway um if you're a little bit more curious about sea moss I will leave some like nutritional facts and videos I will link that in the description box and you could just watch them on your own this is really just a tutorial about how to make sea moss gel it wasn't really like a video explaining what uh, all the benefits of sea moss but like if you know anything about Dr. Sabi he talks about sea moss a lot um, like I said, you can purchase your sea moss from Vital Vegan, which is the company that I work with. Um, you can use my code Healthy Ash at checkout. You don't have to use that. Um, they're a black owned company. They're very good people. If you just want to support them and you don't want to use my promo code, that's perfectly fine too. But for people who want to support me, then make sure you use my code when you check out and it will let them know that I sent them to you and I will uh, get support from that. And, um,. I don't know why I'm out of breath. But um, that's about it. I'm going to be posting more videos about how you can use sea moss gel um, in your diet, how to cook with it, different recipes and stuff with it like that, um, skincare stuff. And I mean, you know, just whatever. Um, so make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.